This is brought to you by the Alumni Association of PISJS. Hey guys, so we will be continuing with the units. This is the last topic of units that we will be talking about. This is the two way conversion. Now, some of the most common two-way conversions that you have to face, and I've seen a lot of students having a problem with this, these kind of con conversions. So, let me give you an example of one of the more common two-way conversions. A two-way conversion looks like this. First of all, identify what it looks like. The question says, convert kilometer per hour to meters per second. This is a two-way conversion, where you have to convert both the unit, the numerator from kilometer to meter, and the denominator from hours to second. So these are the two-way conversions. Now how to deal with them? First of all, you should have a very strong grip on all of these. Now <clears throat> let me just start from the top again. For physics these are very important because the, you will come across with them very regularly. The question says convert one kilometer per hour to meters per second. Now what this, some of the students fail to understand and what I'm trying to emphasize is you have to understand that the numerator is converting separately. For example, this is a numerator. It converts separately and the denominator it converts separately. Okay, this is the, this makes it a lot easier. Now, first of all, some of the basic conversions. We should first know what the conversion factor is from one kilometer to one meter. This is called the conversion factor as we have been using it like that. So one kilometer is equivalent to the same ratio method, thousand meters. So we know that and since the question says one kilometers so without any doubt I can write it like this since I know one kilometer is thousand meters I have converted the numerator conversion sorry of numerator is successful but this does not end here this does not end here Right now, what I have is this. Thousand meter per hour. I have only converted the numerator as yet and not the denominator. So now I will be converting the denominator. This is what we were, we had done earlier. Now we know, now this, we ha we'll have to find the same conversion factor for hours from hours to second. One hour is made up of 60 minutes and each minute is made up of 60 seconds. So what I can say is one hour is essentially made up of 60 times 60 seconds because one minute is 60 seconds and there are 60 minutes so 60 into 60 so one hour is essentially made up of 
3600 seconds. So now I know the conversion from hour to seconds. So one hour is 3600 seconds. I can simply write it like this one kilometer per hour. And per hour means obviously one hour. So one kilometer is 1000 meters. And one hour is 3600 seconds. So if I use my calculator or let's see how much I can go without using the calculator. I'll just cut on two zeros and this would be 10 over 36. And if I take this one again, this would be one over 3.6. And this would be one over 3.6. You can use your calculator. And this is the answer. This becomes, we can now say that one kilometer per hour is equivalent to 10 over 36 or 1 over 3.6 meters per second. Now let's see if I am, if I have this other example from the same question, convert 7.2 kilometers per hour to meters per second. Again, the same thing. Convert the numerator first to the numerator and then the denominator 1 to the denominator 2. This is the numerator 2 and the numerator 1. So we'll do it separately. 7.2, we know the conversion factor. 1 kilometer is equivalent to 1000 meters. 7.2 kilometers, this is the ratio method, and we have all practiced that in the previous lecture. 7.2 kilometers would be equals to x. x times 1 is equal to 7.2 times 1000. x would be 7200 meters. So what I can write here, for now, for now, this would not be my final answer, but I can write 7.2 kilometers per hour to be equivalent to 7200 meters per hour because I haven't converted it as yet. Now, time to convert the hour to seconds. We have just seen one hour is equivalent to 3600 seconds. So, what I can write is 7.2 kilometers per hour would be equal to 7200 meters and the hour would be equal to 3600 seconds. Now let's see, zeros and zeros cancel, 36 ones are, 36 twos are, 72. So the answer is 2 meters per second. So 7.2 kilometers per hour is 2 meters per second. So this is the essential method of converting from kilometer per hour to meter per hour. Now let's see how we convert from meter per hour to kilometer per hour. Taking an example, convert 2 meters per second to kilometer per hour. We have just done the thing we know that 7.2 kilometer per hour was equal to 2 meter per second so let's see if the answer is satisfied by this example first of all again the method is the same convert the numerator 1 to numerator 2 the denominator 1 to denominator 2 this is the method so we know 1 kilometer is equals to 1000 meters What is 2 meters equal to? That is what we are looking for in kilometers. So again, the ratio. Yeah, you don't need to write the units here. 1000 times x. 2 is equals to 1000 times x. 
uh, I'm dividing both sides by 1000. So, and this would be x is equal to 2 over 1000, which would be 0 0.002. So you have uh, kilometers, sorry. You have converted the numerator successfully. That is done. You can write it like this for now. But this would not be the final answer. Kilometers per second. But because you haven't converted the denominator as yet. Now, time for the denominator. One hour is 3600 seconds one second would be how many hours that is your question so you will see that x times using the same ratio method x times 3600 is equals to 1 x multiplying and uh, dividing both sides by 3600 here one over 3600 hours one second is equals to one over 3600 hours so what you are essentially doing is now you are substituting the denominator the change in denominator so you can write it like this 0 0.002 kilometers divided by 1 over 3600 hours but you would know that when I have already I just talked about this in the first or the second video that if you have a situation like this 0 0.002 kilometers divided by 1 over 3600 hours what you can do is instead of dividing you can take a reciprocal because of the reciprocal this div division sign changes to the multiplication sign and this gets inverted this comes this becomes a numerator and this becomes a denominator so this would again become if you use your calculators this would become 77.2 kilometers per hour this is called the reciprocal you can use your calculators from here and it would give you the same answer I'm just telling you how you can do this without using a calculator as well so you will get a 7.2 kilometers per hour so what you essentially did if you noticed when you convert it from kilometer per hour to meters per second what you did was that you multiplied 5000 the numerator and multiplied by the denominator by 3600 from hours to seconds so if you have any value in kilometers per hour for example 5.6 and you multiply it by a thousand like we did here it would convert it to meter and divide it by 3600 or you multiply it with this factor you will get the answer in meters per second this is what you were doing in all these steps if you noticed you multiply it by a thousand in the first step to convert it to meters and then you multiply the denominator as in essentially dividing it by 3600 to convert it to seconds so if you only multiply the number with this factor 1000 over 3600 you will get the answer in meters per second and what you essentially did when you convert it from meters per second to kilometers per hour for meters to kilometers you divided you multiplied it by 1 over 1000 to convert it into kilometers and for seconds you multi 
multiplied it by 1 over 3600 to convert it into hours because these are bigger units obviously so you multiplied it by 1 over 1000 the meter and the second you multiplied it by 1 over 3600 to convert it into hours so what you essentially did you multiplied a number by 1 over 1000 divided by 1 over 3600 you multiplied it by this factor now it's our simple multiplication and division rules tell us that if you have a situation like this a over b divided by c over d what happens is the lower d comes to the top and multiplies with the a and the c comes to the top and multiplies with the b so it becomes a times d over b times c this is what it becomes if even if you do it in a calculator you would find it like that but i will be emphasizing on without the calculator so 3600 comes here and multiplies by one one comes here and multiplies by a thousand so this becomes this thing here becomes 3600 times one divided by thousand times one whenever you have a situation like this a over b over c over d you can follow these rules so this would become 3600 times thou times thousand which is essentially if you just divide and simplify 3.6 so if you want to convert sorry something from meter per second to kilometers per hour you can directly multiply the number with a 3.6 and you will get the answer in kilometers per hour for conversion from kilometer per hour to meters per second you multiply the thing with a thousand over 3600 or a 1 over 3.6 just multiply as in you were dividing but for kilometer per hour to meter per second you divide the value by 3.6 from meter per second to kilometer per hour you multiply by a 3.6 to get the value even if you do not remember this you should always remember the method the derivated method from how we did this so these are the most uh, uh, the regular ones the regular conversions that you will face in both your maths and physics so make sure you have a hand in it let's just revise a few things here and there and I think we are going into overtime so let's just quickly revise it for kilometer per hour to meters per second first convert the numerator kilometer is 1000 meters so this becomes 1000 meters per hour then convert the hour to seconds which is 3600 seconds this becomes 1000 meters divided by 3600 seconds so 1 kilometer per hour would give you 1 over 3.6 meters per second for meters per second to kilometers per hour for example 1 meters per second to kilometer per hour convert the numerator first the numerator this would be 1 over 1000 kilometers per second since you have only converted the numerator then convert this the second to hour this would become 1 over 1000 divided by 1 over 3600 this is this will become 1 over 1000 divided by 1 over 3600 now this the rule that I told you about that this becomes 3600 this one goes up 3600 times 1 and 1000 times 1 this becomes 3.6 kilometers per hour so there you go guys you have the conversion from kilometer per hour to meters per second and give me uh, your comments in the comments boxes below 
so that I know if you have any other problem in this and always remember guys that uh, a value in kilometer per hour will always be bigger than its equivalent value in meters per second this is a reminder many of the students get confused because they feel that it should be bigger in meters per second however this is not true the value in kilometers per hour will always be bigger than its equivalent value in meters per second so thanks for watching guys